G'day folks, welcome back to the Fat Bastard Garage. I went to the thrift store, but in Australia they're called op shops, not thrift stores. Opportunity shops, because opportunity knocks. And yeah, I found. I got two bags, and the only reason I bought them, there's one, maybe two in there, two in there, and we got some Australian sort of stuff. So this one was loose. I think I paid 50 cents for it. It's a no-brand China. It's got suspension, although the back suspension is knackered. It's got a broken bumper just there. But, you know, take the stickers off and so we'll swap and what have you. And that's going to go in the parts bin because I like it. It's actually got a better steering wheel. Than Hot Wheels. See that? It's not a pizza wheel. That was cool. We'll open this one up here first because it's got bits and pieces that I like. We got what used to be a fire rescue. Um, what is it? It's a no brand, made in China, CV, something or other. I don't know. It's flea bitten. All this is plastic on the back here. Oh, yeah. Jim will want that one for sure. <laughs> That's it's not cool, but anyway. I can't find the hole. That's what she said. How about we just do that? That's better. All right. We've got... Actually, that's not too bad. Sort of looks like a matchbox. And it's upside down. No, it's not. I had it right. Oh, my God. It is an MBX motorhome, 2008. Oh, does that go up? Does it fold out? I don't know. Too scared to try in case I bugger it and break it. No, it feels solid. That's a, looks like one of those international work star type things. It's bright. Metal base. Everything else is plastic. That's cool though. Yeah. What else we got? Some matchbox thing. I don't know what that is. Oh my God, how am I going to be able to read that? Is there anything written on there? Made in Thailand. Something Mattel 2013. And it doesn't say what it is. anyone know what that is? It's got tools on the back. It's a wild looking beast. Then we got another truck type thingy, which I assume is another matchbox. Yep. It's just a dump truck, but we ain't got the dumper. No, we ain't got the dumper. Oh yeah, now you look at it that way, I can, yeah, yeah, well, it's one of those mine trucks. She's, um, she's a bit wobbly, but anyway. That's all right for bits. We've got another, oh my God, I've got no idea. It's, can you read that? No, because I had it up the right way the first time. Oh, I've got no idea. I don't even know what it is. It's got, like, the light bar on top. And I, police rescue, there you go. I don't know what that bit is. But that light bar might come in handy for something. We got another. Oh, yeah. Weird. This has got to be Matchbox. Come on. Focus, you son of a preacher man. It's not going to because it's white. And I've got it upside down. Anyway, that's a rubbish truck. There you go. And it works. It's a matchbox. And it's, yeah, that's all I can say about that. This one, the Qantas bus. I quite like this. Oh, look at that big post right in the middle of it. How bloody ugly is that? Yeah. You don't know who Qantas are? Qantas is Australia's biggest airline. And the biggest pack of rip-offs you ever come across. They're paying out 
millions and millions or hundreds of millions of dollars back to the government because they ripped people off. It's still, you know, it's a pretty iconic logo, the old flying kangaroo, but they're a pack of wankers. And here we've got Qantas Freight, and that looks like a man truck. And this is all going to be, I can't see that. Oh, this is just made in China. Qantas Freight, it looks like a man, M-A-N, to me. They're cool. They're going to go in the Australian, like, thingy because I don't have much in the way of it. Well, I do. I've got all the Oz wheels, but this one had some shitty stuff in it. I don't know what that is. It's an El Cheapo 216 high speed. I don't think that is a high speed somehow. I don't know. Yep. We've got another one of them, I think, with the, the top here. And I can't put it back on because I can't see what I'm doing through the camera. Does that go? Oh, it goes there somewhere. Number 211, high speed. I mean, they are metal. There's a lot of plastic, but they are metal. That steel mill's all right, too. There you go. That's that. The other Australian one. It's not something I would go out and buy, but it's the Ford Transit. Australia Post. 1985, copyright. Because they don't use transits anymore. But that's cool. I like that. Like, you know, it's Aussie. We deliver sometimes. Not all the time, but we do. Then we've got... This Porsche with the weirdest looking windscreen you've ever seen. It's a Maisto. Porsche Boxster. Look at that windscreen. Like, what the hell is going on there? It needs to be down there somewhere. That's pretty shitty. But the last one was the one that I spotted and I thought, oh, that's cool. It's the Matchbox number 51 High Tailor. Made in England, 1974 Lesney Products. Patent pending, something rather. I reckon that's cool. That is really cool. I like that. I'd pay, I think one bag was, the small bag was $3, the big bag was $4. And there's four in here, five I've got, five I've got that I actually like, you know, just because the Australian theme, but this, that is going to get some work. That looks awesome. I mean, yeah. Number 51, Hightailer. Is it 51? I can't read that. 55. That's very cool. So, yeah, the op shop which I am now volunteering at two days a week. I've um, thrown the other thing away and now just volunteering. So I've got a lot more free time on my hands. Um, hopefully it'll end up being five days a week, but only sort of like three hours a day or something rather like that. Anyway, that's cool. I like, I especially like that one. I like that one because I can do something with it. I like these, one, two, three, because they're Aussie, and the rest are, um, yeah, anyway. They go in the parts bin. All right, that's it for now. Gone too long. Roo-roo.